Hello and uh, welcome to my channel Geography on your tips. Today in this video we are going to deal with the term 2 syllabus of geography regarding the map work. I am just making it very simple for you children that uh, before the exams you can just go through the maps just give 10 minutes to it and then you will be able to through with that ok. And one thing basic what is very important is that you should know that which state is where all the northeastern states all the uh, northern states Punjab Haryana their children make some mistakes. So, if you know all the states it is uh, very convenient for you to uh, do this map work. These are very simple the CBSC has really reduced the syllabus a lot of the map work earlier it was a huge syllabus and now because it has been divided into term 1, term 2. So, definitely your syllabus is a little less. So, just I just wish that you all score full marks in this map activity after seeing this video and uh, so without wasting much time we will just go through and start the video explaining you the map work ok children. So, let us start the map work <coughs> chapter number 5 mineral and energy resources from this chapter only the map work is coming and that too only these thermal power stations and nuclear power plants. Thermal power plants only 3 of them are there which I have shown in this map with the green pen green color green star mark here if it is Namrup Assam this one of the thermal power stations another one is which is in Madhya Pradesh Singaroli and the Ramagudno which is in Telangana. Next we have 4 nuclear power stations which I am showing here with the help of a red color pen Narora which is in Uttar Pradesh look at its location at the interjection of the line passing like this. Then we have Kakrapara which is in Gujarat you can see this indent in Gujarat just below that towards the center you have to mark Kakrapara and Tarapur you see this indent in the coastal area of Mumbai not to that you will mark Tarapur and coming south in Tamil Nadu just near to Chennai we have Kalpakam. So, this is the map work from chapter number 5 mineral and energy resources only map work is coming. So, out of these 6 or 7 map pointings you are sure to get 2 marks in the exam if you prepare this well. The second map is dealing with your next chapter chapter number 6 manufacturing industries. From here there are 3 things which are coming cotton textile industries, iron and steel plants and software technology parks that too only these which are mentioned in this map. First of all let us deal with the cotton textile industries. Cotton textile industry of Kanpur mark at the very center of Uttar Pradesh coming to the south you mark it in Indore cotton textile industry of Indore it is important then you mark Surat this is also important and then Mumbai if you know to mark Mumbai you know children you will be able to mark a software technology parks will be able to mark anything which is there in Mumbai airports and everything. Then we come to south, southernmost tip of this Kerala boundary but in Tamil Nadu where you have to mark Coimbatore. So, these are some of the cotton textile industries which are important as a map work in class 10th. Next we will deal with the iron and steel plants. Iron and steel plants first of all look at West Bengal from wherever the Tropic of Cancer is passing towards the center of Tropic of Cancer you will mark Durgapur power plant. Then in Jharkhand towards the easternmost part but above the Tropic of Cancer you will mark Bukaro iron and steel plant and Jamshedpur again in Jharkhand only but towards this tip as you can see in this map. Bhilai in Chhattisgarh towards the centermost part. Then we come to Karnataka. Vijayanagar iron and steel plant and then Tamil Nadu's Salem steel plant. Next is the software technology parks which are being shown here with the help of blue stars. Noida, Delhi and Haryana border you will mark Noida's software technology park. Gandhinagar below Tropic of Cancer but in Gujarat. Mumbai and then to the southeast of Mumbai you will mark Pune, Hyderabad which is in Telangana and then Tiruvananthapuram which is at the southernmost tip of Kerala not in Tamil Nadu. 
So just be very careful while marking the software technology park of Thiruvananthapuram. Next we are dealing with the next chapters map. See very simple, very few map pointings. This is dealing with your chapter 7 lifelines of a national economy and this is dealing with the seaports and airports. These are international airports. Amritsar's international airport is known as Raja Sansi and you will mark to the border of Pakistan, India and Pakistan border. Towards that side you will mark it. Then Delhi's international airport which is Indira Gandhi international airport. Then you come to Mumbai's international airport which is called Chhatrapati Shivaji international airport. Rajiv Gandhi international airport of Hyderabad. Meenambakam airport of Chennai. And Kolkata's airport which is known as Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose International Airport. These are the few airports which you need to know and seaports. Kandla is very important seaport coming again and again in the exams. Then we have Jawaharlal Nehru seaport of Maharashtra, Marma Goa of Goa, New Mangalore seaport of Karnataka, Kochi of Kerala, Chutikorin of Tamil Nadu and Chennai also of Tamil Nadu. Next Vishakapatnam and Paradeep again very important appeared many times in the exam papers in the last 25 years and this is Haldia port of Kolkata. So that's all children. So if you'll go through all these maps, only these three maps, okay, seaport, airport, some of the cotton textile industry and iron and steel plants, software technology parks and here thermal power plants and nuclear power plants. Just give it a glance before the exams so that you are through with it and you get good marks. Thank you for watching my video. Do share, like and subscribe.